Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be a little bit of like a vlog as I am going along and trying out the cool storm lightning look. And I got inspired because I was um, looking around trying to get inspired. I just came across this look and apparently like I found it on Pinterest but apparently uh, James Charles came out with it at some point in time and I found that look so I wanted to try it. Well, I was like well that's kind of cool. And today there's like a huge thunderstorm so I thought that it would be best to just take advantage of it and do it. And so here we are. First and foremost, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And we're gonna have a lot of fun. And I'm gonna tell you right now that I don't post regularly, but I post. And I do wanna thank my new subscribers. Thank you so much for showing me love. And I also wanna thank um, my Instagram fam. Um, for showing me a lot of love on my jungle look lately and on the in a lot of, of my recent looks lately I appreciate that you appreciate them because I put a lot of love into them and so it really warms my heart when you show me love and so thank you so much I hope everyone's okay during this quarantine and um, you know, things are getting a little antsy and whatnot. I mean, hey, a lot of people are not wearing masks. A lot of people are not wearing gloves. A lot of the times it's both of those things combined. And as long as I'm doing my duty and I am participating in keeping myself safe and keeping my environment safe, that's the best that I can do because I used to get so frustrated and I just don't wanna get frustrated anymore because I don't care. I mean, it's better them than me. So I'm like, okay. Uh, all right, so I have, now again, I, uh, I was really hoping for the Blue Blood palette from Jeffree Star. Like, I probably said this already, but I, I wanted it like probably like a month ago and he wasn't opening up his website due to COVID. So, or due to the pandemic. And I was like, uh-oh, well, I want that palette. What am I going to do? And then recently he came out with uh, Cremated, which he got so much backlash on it. I think it's brilliant because there's no other palettes out there. And actually last fall, I was like, hmm, like I have a whole little area in my in my mix of makeup that I, am put, I have put together stuff of me doing a gray look and all that kind of stuff. So I'm glad that he put it all in one palette, but I didn't want to get it yet because I'm not gonna use it right now. I'm gonna use it in the fall. Like that is perfect for, like those are not summer colors to me personally. I mean, you know, there's other people that would wear that all year round. I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's a fantastic palette and he's great. But for me in particular, I just would use it in the fall because that's when I start to get a little bit more grungy and I start to get a little bit more dark and, you know, like the dark night of the soul starts coming out and then Halloween is upon us and then it all explodes. So it's like up until then, you know, I don't use those colors. So I have, so because I don't have the blue blood, um, and you know, anyway, so now he opened up his website because he does have cremated out too so people can actually order his Product, but I'm like, oh no again. I didn't order it. So I wish I had it, but that's okay because I have Colors here that I'm gonna try and just go for it and see if it works out Which I'm sure it will because I have tons of colors That I can just go ahead and go crazy now the only problem is, is that like I thought I had more makeup wipes than I thought and I only have one left in here. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but like whatever, I will make it work. I have to go and replenish tomorrow and grab a couple of things. So we'll just uh, get started. I'm not gonna do the concealer I because there's no point. Like it's gonna be this area here. So I'm gonna use this guy, which is amazing and you know, the typical um, Aqua XL by Makeup Forever, and this is a dark blue. Like, I moisturized a lot because these are waterproof and they do dry quite quickly. And so I'm going to have to, you know, put this together and see what happens, which I'm so excited about. Oh, 
All right, so I'm just gonna, it's just a good base. I'm literally just gonna wing it and just see what I, what, where I wanna put colors and such. And it is a little bit metallic. Oh my God. This color is incredible. It's so nice. It's just so good to use as like a base. And again, it doesn't have to be, I don't care if it's like not perfect right now and it's not all smooth out because I'm gonna go with like shadows and such and just start buffing that around. Does anybody else always get stuff in their eye? Or eyes, I should say? Like I, my friends make fun of me all the time because I'm like, oh my God, I have something in my eye. Like I always get stuff in my eyes all the time. I'm always like, ooh, ooh. Like, I don't know what it is. I always get stuff in there. And also with your brushes, um, you know, work quick with the stuff because it is waterproof and so you don't want to let it sit for too long. Yeah, so it's good that your face is nice and moisturized because again, this is so... It's so mattifying, like it's crazy. Okay, all right, so I love that. So now I'm gonna start pulling some colors. So let's see. So I'm going to probably make my eye areas really dark. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that. Okay, okay. Number 16 brush by NYX and it's just a, a crease a crease brush they call it. I love these. Um, and I'm gonna grab the MAC, oh perfect, Blue Storm. This is perfect, beautiful color. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just gonna probably put that like in my, on my eyes and just set everything. Ooh, that actually looks really good. I'm just gonna grab us like so many different colors and I'm gonna use this like angled uh, Smashbox brush. And this is actually Smoke Signals. It was a launch that MAC did years ago and it was like a smoky eye um, line that they had. And it's like a, it's like a gray blue, if you can see that. I just wanna mix a ton of colors together, a ton of like stormy colors. Now because this dried a little blotchy, as I suspected that it would, I'm just gonna go in with the Blue Storm again and I'm just gonna blend that in the areas where there's a little bit of the darker blotchiness coming through so it's a little bit mixed up there and like really pack it in there and also it doesn't have to be perfect because if it's just like a flat color, it's not going to, like you want a mix of like, like it's supposed to look a little cloudy because it's a storm, you know? As long as you have like, you know, your base colors and then everything else just comes together. So I'm gonna go back with that crease brush and I'm gonna make sure that that is really packed in there and there's no colors showing, like everything is camouflaged. All right, that's a little better. Oh, 
Also, I did not sleep at all last night. I went to bed quite early and then for some reason I couldn't sleep when I got there because I was, I was tired and then I couldn't sleep. And then I woke up early this morning and I was like, what is happening? So then I took a nap in the afternoon. It wasn't really a nap. I slept for like 10 minutes thinking it was an hour. Like I'm all over the place. Like there's so many like planets in retrograde right now. Like everything is so, everything is all over the place. So I, that's where that's coming from. But oh my God, is it affecting me? It's at a, it's insane. So I'm going to grab the NYX Sapphire eyeliner pencil. And it's just this beautiful metallic blue gonna line the crap out of the inside of my eyes so everything just blends together and if I have to put some under my eye then so be it and I am going to do my brows but I'm gonna probably do that last okay so um So I'm gonna leave that for a moment and I'm just gonna do the bottom of my face because this is all gonna come together. Like I have, I have a system. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, which looks so good on camera, whether it's film, whether it's photos, it just, it's just stunning. It's an R410. It's quite dark because I use it when I do tan. Ooh. I am just going to put some of that on. Don't think that I'm not not going to contour because I am. I have to. Because it's right in that spot. I need to contour. Oh, sorry. That was the um, Munchies by NYX Suede Lipstick. And I like it because it's such a, an amazing color. It's just such a good color for my skin tone, whether I'm tanned, whether I am more paler than the norm i like it and so that's why i like that color oh and um yeah because i find like with contour sticks like and, and such like i just need to be careful because they're just so i don't know either the color is off it looks muddy or it just like it's orange and i'm like i am not orange thank you cool this is looking choppy but i have i have i have plans so st stick with me i'm going to grab neutral tan can't stop won't stop by nyx and it's this color here just lovely and i'm just gonna go ahead and just set that area of my skin like i normally do in my other videos and my routine, my brush that I usually cut my contour with, I just use the dark blue. So I'm gonna use this little wee one and hope for the best. Oh, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Amazing. Now I'm gonna grab the warm caramel. It's a little darker. And so this one, I use it for my contour. I'm gonna grab this lovely little brush that's my favorite whoever follows me and who is one of my fan who is my fan and a subscriber I should say this brush from Sephora is the best to really soften up that contour but still keep it snatched you know yeah looks good looks good it looks good all right, I think that's pretty good. And I'm just gonna make sure that that very, very gently, so there's no, okay, great. Okay, so now we're gonna go back with the colors. I have had this forever, forever, like since I worked at Sephora back in the day. And it's an amazing color. It's totally broken and it's metallic it's pigmented it is incredible and i am going to just 
look at that color. Isn't that insane? Like, look at that. Oh, that's just stunning. Okay, now I'm my goal here is to literally just pick up a touch of this because I don't want it to, you know, I don't want it to take the focus away, but I do want to bring a little bit of light to that and a little bit of like magic, I guess I want to say, but I just want to bring a little bit of like different colors of blues, but really like smooth that out. Like don't have it. I don't want to have it all in one area. Because again, I do have a plan. It's like such a mix of colors of the blues. Like it's just stunning. I just grabbed the Blue Storm by MAC and I'm just gonna go over that turquoise so it's not so blue blue. So you can still see like the sunny sky. Cool, so I'm gonna go back with the Blue Storm and just camouflage that a little so it's not so bright. Cause it's kind of bringing a highlight in that area too, right? Okay, all right. All right, I'm just going to do them with the sapphire pencil and see how that looks. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Well, that worked. Sure. I mean, okay. That does it for me. I think I think the shape's a little off, but it's really okay. I don't mind. So I'm gonna grab the What's Up by Benefit Cosmetics. And it's just an illuminator stick, and I love it because it's a nice travel size. I got this in a little benefit kit. And so I'm just gonna put a little under the brow. So it opens up that area there and then I'm going to put that down my nose and you want to wipe it so you don't it doesn't have the deposit of that and then I'm just gonna put some here have your wipe handy because you're gonna need this because you want to wipe as you blend it in Okay, and just wanna blend that in there so it doesn't look so sharp. Cool. I'm going to just grab my favorite um, illuminator brush by NYX and it's number 26, I believe. Yep, it's number 26 brush. I forget the name, but this is what I use for an illuminator and um, for a powder illuminator, I should say. And then I'm gonna go and pick up the, the Holographic Halo by NYX. And this one is in Mermazing, because it is Mermazing. And I'll show you the lid. It's chromatic, so look at that. It's this beautiful blue, purpley color. And I'm just gonna put that there. And I went in and grabbed by Makeup Forever I220. Again, I'm just picking up random colors because I'm just going with the flow. What I'm going to do is just add a little of that halo at the bottom here. Kind of looks like clouds and then I'm just gonna pick up that brush that I had the i220 by Makeup Forever but I'm not gonna pick up any color I'm just gonna blend everything together all right I think we're good all right so I'm gonna grab this lovely fluffy little brush by NYX 
and it's number 44. It's one of our newest brushes. And I'm just gonna go and pick up that halo illuminator and put it under that brow to bring it out. I do want this to come out here a little more because it looks a little weird. Now we're gonna attempt to do a winged liner. That's gonna be challenging because I don't wanna put my hands on my face, but whatever, I'll figure it out. So I'm going to be using the usual NYX um, black liner and smudger. This stuff is the best, it's in jet black. It's waterproof. It's just amazing. I love it. Okay, that is good for now. With that crease brush, I'm just going to grab Raven by, make, by NYX. I was going to say Makeup Forever. Um, and it's uh, black. And I'm just going to go and just add a little bit. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but I just want to add a little bit of... Maybe I'll do it with this. I'll do it with this brush so it's not so sharp. Yeah, there we go. So it looks really stormy. There we go. Awesome. Cool. It's springtime, you know, a lot of a lot of um a lot of um storms are going to happen at that time. And then I'm going to grab the On The Rise mascara and I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. And I am going to put lashes on. That is a fact. I'm going to grab the Epic Wear by NYX, which is the um, awesome waterproof liners that stay on for like days. Like I'm talking like three, four days and it's in the white and they have them in like I think eight different colors like pink yellow red there was supposed to be a forest green i don't know what happened to it but like so here we go Okay, so I'm gonna go and so I clean my jewelry and I just tweaked up a couple little things. I put lashes on and then now I'm just going to grab my all time favorite liquid lip line, uh, liquid liner and the matte liquid liner by NYX Cosmetics. I love this thing so much. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put this is everything lip balm by NYX on my lips by MAC and it's gel and it's just a lovely color and I use for those who know me I actually use this as a base for my illuminator base and then I go over it with like a powder illuminator but for the summertime and just like a bare lip this is just so pretty if you just want that little bronze effect but you don't want anything too crazy because I don't want a lip that's too crazy to take away from this because I think that's just um, too much and I don't want it to lose its beauty and I do want to put a touch more of that halo above my lip here okay all right guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So this is my attempt to the thunder and lightning and I absolutely think it's so cool. I think it's perfect for the weather that we're having like thunderstorms galore and lightning and it's springtime and I think it's just so perfect and it's pretty and I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. Thank you so much for tuning in again and thank you again to the new subscribers and thank you for showing me so much love on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all.